Three, I'm going to give you an introduction to product decisions for marketing 2085. Here's the agenda for this week. So we're going to talk about, or I'm going to describe for you what a product is in reality, and then the, the process to develop new products. We're going to define that process. Uh, we're going to consider how they fit into brand and positioning strategies. And then long-term customer satisfaction for customer retention. So, so a means to an end. Let's take a look at this in a little more detail. So what's a product? Well, first of all, what, before we define that, understand that a product, which is a bundle of features and benefits or a carrier of features and benefits, things that it does for the target market, it must complement the brand and positioning strategies. Now, in a sense, brand and positioning are the same thing. And think of, when you think of brand, think of brand name or reputation. So your name is a, carries a reputation with it. You're, you know, Joe Smith or Bob Jones or whomever. If someone knows you, that means something to them. So that brand is, is highly desirable to support. And it doesn't mean to be or intended to be the very best brand that you can buy in anything. It just means we need to be consistent. So it's got to be complementary and consistent with brand and positioning strategies where we want that product to fit in the target market's mind relative to the competitors out there. Like I said, it carries features and benefits. So each product, and it could be a service, which we'll talk about here in a second, carries with it things of value, all right? That And the target market is the only one that determines whether there is value. So let's just define what a product is. It can be tangible and intangible, meaning tangible, you can touch it, feel it, drive it, sit in it, uh, smell it, you know, move it around, close the doors, pick it up, carry it, weigh it. You know, it's got a definite uh, attributes of a physical physical properties. It might be intangible as well, like a service, which is just as valuable as a physical product, and maybe more so. And in fact, most physical products have um, service features to them as well. So they're both tangible and intangibles. Doesn't make them any less real. In fact, that's our job is to make a service as real as we possibly can to the target market. Anyway, it, in whatever form the product takes, it must deliver value from the target market's perspective. They have to see it as something they're willing to pay for because it, it uh, delivers on its promise. This is why we have to be so careful about the branding and positioning strategies. Additionally, for this week, we're going to talk about developing new products. So we're going to define that process and, and the steps in a general sense. Again, must follow brand and positioning strategies for a new product. If it carries that name, it has to be consistent with that brand and reputation. And then the long-term customer satisfaction and retention uh, methods and activities. So I think you'll enjoy this week. Thank you.